So again folks, welcome to Freestyle Vapes, uh, Carl here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video, many people have done this if I'm being honest. Uh, but I've been doing this uh, hack shot thing for a, a while now, and this is all I vape really. Uh, the odd time or two I've got to I've got some of these short fills, uh, which I'll show you in a second. But this is mainly about how I, how you get into buying the hack shots or buying the bottle shots whatever you want whatever company you use call them uh, they're either called bottle shots or with from drip packs they're called hack shots basically they are 250 ml bottles that come with concentrate in them and that'll be either from 15 percent up to upwards of probably 25 percent uh, all drip axes concentrates are between 17 and 20 percent normally this is at 20 percent concentrate in here this is their new cola flavor uh, i've also got uh, pink boy which is also uh, 20 percent these are seven day steep bonds both these seven day steep to me means you can use them you can sort of mix them wait a few hours for it to uh, for the nicotine to you know get all mixed in and then vape them, sort of shake and vape type things. Uh, I also got some uh, blue 2.2, but uh, I've got to take these back because they've given me the wrong one. It should be 2.3, which is the uh, replay the version that they've replaced that with. But like I say, I've got stuff. These are from Kerno. These are called Kerno Shottles. They're, it's the same concept. Uh, but that's the peach infusion. I've got the Cherry Max. These have already been mixed and used. Uh, the difference being these are bottle shots they, these have concentrate in and it, the user has to put VG, PG and nicotine to make their liquids with things like this is the exceptional vapes is chubby juice line this is jam rolling poly and custard this is a 50 mil short fill so what you do to this to make it 3 milligram as you add they come with a 10 mil bottle of uh, exceptional vapes is nicotine which is 18 milligram I believe they're 18 on there uh, max VG uh, these are 18 milligram max VG nicotine salts from exceptional vapes so you add one of them to one of them which makes it 60 mil short fill the VG and PG and the flavor is already in there so the difference between short fills and bottle shots is these are pre-mixed ready and should be pre-steeped from any company that is selling short fills you shouldn't have to steep short fills uh, and the same with 100 ml bottles as well they've pre-steeped and all you do is add nicotine and then you shake and vape short fills that's how the short fill market is and that's no short fills yes okay you can leave them for a day or so but they should be pre-steeped short fills should these don't things like this which is unfortunate trinkets from drip packs this has a from what i believe a six week steeping period now i've been trying that that's this is about i didn't put a date on this on the notes but this is about five weeks old now and that's coming to a point where it's really nice to vape because things like uh, anything with creams in custards dessert flavors they need six six to ten weeks steeping period uh, before you start before the, the flavor profiles get, get infused and you can bake them so that's the main difference but if you bought that in a short fill from drip hacks it would be pre-steeped so you would just add your nicotine uh, and bake, bake shake and bake virtually but with the bottle shots you've got to let them steep except with fruit flavors these type of flavors cola pink boy uh, which is like a pink like lemonade and this is a blueberry sour type uh, anything fruits normally they, 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 they say a seven day steep period which means basically it's a shake and vape uh, I tend to leave these a couple of days and start vaping on them uh, from mixing that is if you do mix them they leave you a, a part on the label you can write with a sharpie pen the date you mixed it so it helps with let me just get my this is this was mixed this is honeycomb latte now this this is really nice now well, that was made on the 4th of the 2nd uh, this year and that's at 8020 VGPG uh, 
that is really really nice now but you couldn't vape that straight away it wasn't the the the, the lattes the creams in there they, they they don't they don't come through and they taste a, a bit off if i'm uh, they don't taste nice i shouldn't say have to let creams and that come through so quickie this is going to be 250 mil hack shot i'm going to put in vg pg i decant from these bottles into one of these drip packs vegetable glycerine type bottles these are 250 mil uh, you do get these with the starter kit you can get you'll get that that and four nicotine shots in a starter kit or you can just buy them on their own like that i buy them on their own because i've got liters of vg in here and i just decant from bottle to bottle so this is how i do it so i take the top off like so and then i've got four bottles ready here these are from uh, bowl vape these are uh, uh, bowl vapes nicotine um, made by uh, I think uh, Bolt Vape get them in but I think they're made by uh, they say Cool Vape on them nicotine shots these are 18 milligram 10 mil bottles 100% VG content in them so they're quite thick these are so I add four of these I take the caps off them because it's easier than squeezing these hard bottles Some people say you can uh, add the nicotine at the end of the steep, but I like to add my nicotine and VG straight away. So I'll let it drip in, like so. If you feel, feel like you have to wear gloves, wear gloves, but with 18 milligram nicotine in this, co this concentrate, you don't have to. So there's two going in. This is gonna be a three milligram liquid so if you wanted six milligram you'd have to add eight of these bottles in and then you top up with VG the rest of the way always I always add my nick shots first and I can give the nick a good uh, shake and mix around within the concentrate then all I do is I top up with VG because I don't use PG and then it becomes virtually a sort of a uh, an 80 20 VG PG mix because I'm adding no more PG to the mix because you've also you've already got 20% flavor concentrated here which means you've already got 20% of PG in there because your flavor is PG based and nine times out of ten will always be PG based and very few VG based flavors so that's the last one going in so that's four nick shots get the last dregs out because it's quite thick this stuff is with it being 100 vg so we we'll stick them bottles to one side they get binned and then i put the cap back on the original cap for the bottle and give it a good shake the, the bottles also come when you buy them with a a dropper cap which you can unscrew uh, that goes on you can unscrew to and then screw back on when you're not in when you're not using it similar to this stuff and you just unscrew it and then put it into your tank they'll come them, them caps are the best really these ones that screw up and and uh, have got an inbuilt you don't take the cap off the, the, the nibs too fat let's have a vape this is a uh, cherry max in here so that's what I do you see it's quite cloudy now that's nearly always going to be the case the more cloudy with, with, with your citrusy uh, flavours but it does settle after a while then you take your cap back off get your VG whichever container it's in I like to pour from these because it's easier and then all I'm going to do is just fill up
and I don't feel it right full to the top of the net because you need to leave a bit of space for shaking. I always do it like this. You can get a you know a proper calculator out and get the exact amount. So put the original cap back on your shot or bottle and as you can see now as you'll see it's all like slightly separated flavor concentrated nix up here and then you've got uh, VG because it's heavier going down to the bottom that's why you leave space at the top for shaking so we shake again ideally you want to shake this for a few minutes get my gist it's hard this need a bait so as you can see just with a, a, you know a few seconds of shaking it all mixes up together so what will happen is I'll shake this off camera again for a few more minutes and then you leave that then for 24 hours with this flavour and then you can try it and see what some people try some people tank it straight away i like the uh, to get it i like to leave it for 24 hours before i vape it again now when you come to vape when you come to use it unscrew the top put your other cap on and then away you go and you can have them sitting there so that's one and that's it really i've got another one to do here but i just wanted to show you on the one I was doing there then so like I say guys the main difference between short fills and bottle shots is the short fills which are these they either come in 50 or 100 mil or sometimes 80 uh, you add just nicotine to them they are already pre-steeped with shottles they are you have to add your VG and PG or desire your desired VG PG for what you vape at uh, and then your nicotine shots so obviously if you wanted this at six milligram like i said you would add eight of these 10 mil bottles which would give you less vg in there as well because you're adding an extra 40 mil of, uh, of nicotine based juice that's why it's crucial to have i think for me personally in these bigger bottles if, uh, a full, a full, v, you know, the, the fullest VG content nicotine that you can get because you complicate it if you start having nicotine shots and you're having to add 80 mil of these with a base of 70 30 VG PG, which some of them are. I think I've got a couple here. They are 70 30, I think. They all look like that one. Like these just some ones I've had free sometimes that's a 70 VG 30 PG so you've got 30% of that 10 mil bottles PG so if you add in 80 mil of them of these this type into a shuttle you're adding extra PG that you did it unknowingly sometimes uh, to, to, to your mix so I like them to be 100% VG in here uh, and most of them are if I'm not mistaken uh, but recently drip packs have went to a 70 30 base because they uh, because it's thinner and it's easier to it was easier for them to bottle but for me it's 100 percent vg which it says if you can get it in shot let me just get the little focus in these are from ball vape let me just get the turn all to focus off there we go 100 percent vg content 80 mg 10 mil VG content 100% or well, that would be 98 because of the nicotine that's in there so yeah that's the way I go thanks for watching guys hope you got what you wanted from there like I say don't worry like when you've got these you'll see bubbles at the top and you'll be like a, a line of bubbles sometimes that's just just shake it now and again over the next 24 hours and just leave it and that but if you've got if you if you are mixing like these dessert flavors this is like a marshmallow uh, unfortunate trinkets it's a toasted cereal with marshmallow these these take a while to to, to become uh, so as all all the flavors profiles come out in the vape 
uh, I just these that stand for you know, four weeks in a in a dark uh, somewhere in a dark place. Got to be cool, cool and dark, and then you just take them out periodically to shake, uh, so you get all the flavour profiles infused. Thanks for guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, guys.